For example, I, what I heard in the uh, uh, in the international political circle that the U.S. do want to refocus on the middle, uh, uh, mid mid and eastern Europe because the uh, they're saying the uh, they're seeing the uh, uh, Russian and the Ukraine crisis right now, but they cannot stabilize the middle east. It's because uh, Iran have a hostile relation with U.S. and uh, right now U.S. is the one of the largest competitor. They used to be the alliance. Uh, but now they are the largest competitor in the oil businesses. So either side, America favors, will create more pushback from the other side. But China quite a very different story. China is the builder in the Middle East. We don't do not have any historical, uh, you know, uh, you know, problem in the Middle East region. China has been rebuilding uh, the war hit zones in the uh, Iraq, and China has been helping the Saudi to build the future city. And China has also been working with Iran in the rebuilding of their economy. So, because China is the friends of both sides, so everybody will have this patience to sit down and to talk, and eventually to decide what is the of the best interest of both sides and of the whole region.